Hey guys, Big Tech here. Today I'm going to show you guys the fix for the iPhone 4 Wi-Fi. I'm not sure if this works on the 4S, but it certainly does work on the 4. Um, yeah, I don't hear, like, the first, what I'm going to show you what, when this phone boots up is that the Wi-Fi on it, the signal is absolutely horrible. And then I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. Okay, so, here's a, a 4S here. And I do notice that it does have that same top screw that goes there, which is the one that you will need. Um, basically, the back of the phone. Okay, so here's the phone, and um, for just for reference, that's where um, my wireless is. My wireless networks are. Well, you'll notice I have, do have three. Oh, there we go. It went to two, and the router's right there. So it should not be at two. It's not, not. There's no reason at all for it to go to two bars because the 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 network is right there. And now here, just for example, show you another f four, and these are both fours there. You can see, and the other four has three, and it always has three. So, but that one back there, and you also notice that <clears throat> this is not a fix for the the carrier um, signal. This is just simply for Wi-Fi, and I know this is a bit of a bad example because they they're both showing three bars, and it looks like they both work. But believe me, guys, this one—if I even walk into the next room, it will just not work anymore. So, yeah. Um. Anyways. Yeah, so, yeah, there you go, two bars, it just showed, and the other one did not drop to two bars. Anyways, um, it's a very simple fix. Alright, let me just... Okay, so, first thing you're gonna do, shut off the phone. Now, this is a, this mainly will happen after you've taken the phone apart. Like, when you first get it, it should definitely not have this problem. This problem, rare, I've I've only seen it occur in phones that are taken apart or have been taken apart. Now, then you're going to take off the back by removing the two bottom dock screws right there and right there. They just use a Phillips triple zero bit. Um, this is kind of screwdriver bit that you need. So, yeah, remove that screw for the battery. Use a spudger or use your nail. It works either way. Uh, don't use the stupid Apple's op authorized repair only thing. It won't like to pull it the battery off. It will sometimes rip, as you can see. So it's easier just to use a plastic spudger to take that off. Now you'll notice this four is missing the EMI shield right here, and that is essentially your Wi-Fi antenna. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. All right. So, and the piece that you need to make sure it has is you need to make sure it has this metal piece on the end there with that little bump on it alright so that's what you need to make sure it has focus oh. um, and once you make sure it has that thank you you need to make sure that it is in contact with that little piece with that little piece of silver or gold and copper whatever that is God, my camera's being terrible today. Anyway, it just needs to be touching that little circle, essentially. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. Alright, and then I'll just place the phone down so I can install the screws correctly. That's how you guys can spectate and be able to see that properly. Alright. So, um, I don't think this screwdriver that I'm using is magnetic, but it's a lot easier if you can use one that is magnetic. Um, that's just a heads up. If you cannot see this properly, switch to um, 720p if you're not already watching in 720p. It's just really... I, I, I get annoyed when people are like, oh, I can't see blah blah blah. And I'm like, did you watch in 720p? And they're like, no. I'm like, well... Most of you guys should be able to run 720p nowadays, considering that the iPod Touch 4th gen can run 720p. I'm pretty sure 
No, I know that for a fact, not. I was gonna say something else. I'm pretty sure that even most netbooks with the crappy atoms can run 720p. Sorry, you guys couldn't see that there. Oh, this is the wrong screw. <clears throat> it's a bit wider. That's for the battery. I believe. <laughs> Anyways, the main screw that you need to make sure is in is this back one. Right there. And that screw is absolutely the biggest screw in the phone, even bigger than the ones down by the dock connector here. And that is that looks like this. There we go. It's a pretty big screw. And that's the main one that keeps the the little piece on top on touching the motherboard. I just need to make sure this is lined up. That's why I want to put in some of the other screws. Okay. Well, anyways, let's just put in that back one. <laughs> I can't even really grab hold of it. The noise you hear in the background is just my pet gibbles. Uh, Alright. Is it lined up? Yes. Sorry if you couldn't see what I was doing. I really hope you could. Alright, that's nice and screwed in. Now I'm just going to connect that one just to show you guys that that fixes it. I'm just going to put that battery. I, I will put the phone fully back together. I know you guys are like, eh, it was statically screwed up, but... Don't worry. Let's just wait for it to boot. But just as long as you have that end screw there, in the phone's Wi-Fi should be should be functional, fully functional, and you should be able to get really really good signal. Sorry, it's taking so long to start up. I don't know why. It's just. Actually, this is an 8 gig 4, so that's why it's it's not only because it's an 8 gig, but because it's it's got a lot of stuff. You can see it's frozen right now. And um, so now I'm just now we'll check the Wi-Fi signal, and it should be. There we go, three bars. Let's do a little. Range experiment, so there's my routers. Now, before this fix, it would not even work in this other room here, which is just outside of my room. So, after the fix, we're still getting three bars, so that's very good. Um, yeah, we're still getting three bars, and we couldn't do that before, so there's how you fix the iPhone 4 Wi Fi, guys. I hope this guy this helped you guys out. And um yeah, thanks to iPhone 4 forums. I got this information. Um and yeah, so um just I will just go put the rest of the screws in this and it now is fully functional. I don't know if this works on the 4S, but anyways guys, if this works for you, um just drop a like and check out my other videos and if they look appealing, just give me a subscribe. Thank you. Bye.